Yes, I know that one and one or two Ain't no problem that I can't see through As long as it's just me and you My crazy little bees So I'm about to winterize my bees, finally. And I am using deep inner covers and I'm going to fill that with wood cedar shavings. Uh, for the flow hive I'm using styrofoam and I have corrugated plastic hive wraps just to keep them snuggly. I have really big uh, fondant patties going in there because last year I had two hives starve um, we've treated for mites because the year before that I had two hives die of mite infestations and then I used the wood shavings for moisture uh, because the year before that I had hives die from moisture. So I'll go through all that when I'm winterizing these hives but let's go. We're supposed to get a winter storm tonight. Hi folks, just wanted to explain a little bit about what I'm doing today and I am bikini ready. Um, if it's warm enough or if I get warm, I'm ready to be in my bikini. Um, so today I'm winterizing my hives. In early October we put the Apivar mite strips in which take around 42 days. So it's time to take them out. I didn't make a video of that. Um, it was just like a time crunch of the weather again, so I totally forgot. So I'm gonna be removing those strips. Um, I'll post a link um, for the video where I did it last fall in case you wanna see how it's done. Uh, but I'm gonna remove those strips today. I've decided to leave on the screened bottom boards uh, because last year I had an issue with moisture and the hives that I left the screen bottom boards on, which was Queen Maria and another one, were really thriving. And I think that's just for the additional airflow. And then the moisture just left the hive. It wasn't built up at the entrance of the hive. Uh, but I'll get more into that later. Anyway, so today I'm going to remove the mite strips. I'm going to put fondant patties in all of my hives because last year I had a few starve and I just really want to ensure everyone's good to go. Um, so I'm treating for mites, which is a killer in the winter, starvation, moisture, so that's my screen bottom boards. And then also I'm insulating with um, cedar wood shavings and a corrugated hive wrap which this is my third year using the corrugated hive wrap and I just love it. Um, also make sure your entrance reducers are on for the mice and other critters that will get in there and just the cold wind. So that's what's happening today. The wood shavings also absorb any excessive moisture as well so that helps protect against that. But that's what I find to be the big killers in the winter and so far every year I've dealt with each of them so I'm hoping this year is going to be a success because I have I'm dealing with my moisture I'm dealing with um, additional food sources for them mites um, so we should be good I treated all my hives for mites regardless of whether they had a high mite count or not just because I'm a little bit paranoid so here we go. I'm also hoping to move Queen June to my east facing hives. So Queen June's still facing south. Um, and it gets pretty windy because the lake is right there. If you can see it in the background. So there's a lot of wind coming off of Georgian Bay. So I'm just going to um, angle that east and there's a hill there facing that direction, so should block some of that wind. I'm also going to be putting a styrofoam insulated cover on the flow hive. Right now I have kind of a makeshift entrance reducer going on, held together with a rock on my Our Lady Bees hive. And 
and I'm going to just put a regular flat top hive top on there and take the garden top off for the winter and that way I can put a cinder block on the roof just to hold it all together and remove the strap. So that's what I'm doing. I'll leave a recording. I'm hoping it's not going to take too too long today. Uh, the Queen June I tried to move last week and it was so heavy so I think I'm going to have to take it apart because um, it's a double brood right now and move it piece by piece. So I'm just going to put my veil on. I'm not going to put the bee suit on because it is pretty chilly today. Not too bad. 7 degrees Celsius and 43 Fahrenheit. So I guess not too too bad but cold enough that the bees won't be flying around. Oh my god, just broke my thermometer. What the hell? Jeez. Anyway, here we go. So I got this mega fondant here. I'm gonna put two each if I can fit them. I feel bad for going in here when it's so cold, but Better now than never. So I'm going to start up the smoker because they're just in my way. I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to put fondant on this hive because the cluster of bees is so big. So I'm just going to fire up the smoker. So I'm thinking the mite strips are down another level. I don't want to disturb this cluster too much, but kind of have to. I don't see I think the mite strips are down one. Her. So there are the mite strips here. So I'm just yanking those out. And there's newspaper in here because I combined these two hives. So I'm just going to pull that off. Lots of resources in this lower brood chamber is good.
So I clean this up. I'm gonna put this chamber back on. I hear a bee in my ear, it's freaking me out. <sighs> so next up, I'm going to put fondant on top of here. So these girls need to get out of my way. stung on the neck, which means I need a bee suit. Found their way in. In up my hoodie. So I'm just gonna put a bee suit on. And I don't want to leave the bees open like this, but I didn't think they would be as They are. It was terrifying. I knew. I said I heard one in my ear. I just don't understand. They're so sneaky. Swiss Army knife. I'll try this again. So annoying. Let's kiss you. This extra comb off because I have really thick fondant going on in here. I might just put one. This is like four times the amount as last year. One's good. I'm gonna have to smush it down too. 
Okay, so I got my fondant. The entrance is gonna face forward. I'm squishing the fondant down right now. there squishing it okay so now I'm just gonna cover the inside hole with newspaper so the wood shavings don't all just fall inside the hive. This one's getting a um, double corrugated plastic hive wrap because it's a true double and the others are going to get singles. Those girls are not happy. Okay, one down, three to go. <laughs>